Right, some of those nasty word problems. Okay, now remember we're still on the uh, solving systems of equations. Uh, so what they're going to throw at you here is, is maybe x's and y's, and you have to choose, you know, elimination or substitution method to solve. So that one's not too bad because the words in this kind of run nicely to create the equation. Now we've got hot dogs and chips. So I'm going to let the hot dogs be x and the chips be y. Okay. So if you read this, have a look at this. Okay, up here. Customer buys two hot dogs and three bags of potato chips. Right, two hot dogs. Two x. All right, because I'm calling hot dogs x. All right. Uh, three bags of potato chips. Okay, three. Why? It's thundering. I don't know if you can hear it. In I'm recording this when it's in the rain, Monday. Okay, um, equals, uh, what does that equal? Eight dollars. Okay, so two hot dogs and three potato chips is eight dollars. All right, I'll put that there, zero, zero. Okay, look at the other one. We've got three hot dogs and three chips, so three X, okay, and three Y. Three hot dogs, right, and three chips. Now that's, of course, a bit more, that's 10.50, okay, 10.50. Okay, so I think that's not too bad, that kind of runs nicely with the words. Um, it's read it and that's what comes out. Now, now we've only got the two equations, now I would probably choose elimination method for this, that's my personal favourite anyway. So I'm looking at this and going, X's, you've got a 2 and a 3, but Y's, you do have the same number, which is nice. So, uh, if you have a negative 3Y, to go with a positive 3y, when you add them, the y's will cancel. Now, I'm going to make the first equation into the negative 3y. And the reason is, is um, I can see the x's are going to be left nicely positive and not negative. But to do this, um, what you're doing is, is I'm going to multiply that first equation by negative 1. Okay? Uh, but you have to decide what to do. So I'll now write it down here below. Okay? So by negative 1, that'll give me negative 2x negative 3y and that will equal negative 8 okay I'll put the dot dot again okay so there we go I've multiplied the first equation by negative 1 um, Rosie the dog again so I'm just looking at these two equations now alright so when I add these I'm going to get 1x okay the y's have gone and that will equal 1050 take away 8 is 250 and that folks is X and that's the price of the hot dogs there you go the hot dogs at two dollars fifty each now again go back in and let's have a look so maybe I'll go back to that you know go back to the original original first equation I think I'll put it into here all right if I know that X is 250 I'm gonna put it into the first equation so 2x but X is now 250 okay remember using that first equation up here um, plus 3y that's what I'm looking for I don't know what y is yet and that equals 8 All right so I just put x as 250 so 2 250s is 5 again plus 3y equals 8 now can you see if you take away 5 from both sides to leave this the y or 3y take away 5 Okay, goes. You're going to be left with 3y equals 3. 8 take away 5. Again, divide by 3, divide by 3, y equals 1, and that's the price of the chips, okay? $1. And that's it. So the hot dogs are $2.50, the chips are $1. And um, that's it. Make sure that's dollar. That looks a bit funny down there, okay? That's $1, okay? There you go.